M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're going to do the firmware on the FTM400, which you can get from the Yesu site in the files section here. And you're going to need an SCU20 cable, and you're also going to need to put the radio into main firmware mode. And there are some photographs on the instructions where you take the lid off, including un unclipping the speaker. And here is a firmware switch, which you click up. It's near the front left of the radio, looking from the top. And there's a, fur a, a, a further out view of it. Once you put that, flick that switch into firmware mode, then double click this program here, which will be included in the download. Click yes. You need to find your device manager. The SCU20 cable is connected to the radio and to your PC. So right click, go to device manager, double click ports, and you'll see it there, USB COM port. And make sure you're reading the instructions to follow this step by step. Once you've got that sorted, now you will need the USB driver on your laptop. That goes without saying. So make sure you've got that first. Find the driver or select the COM port 10. Click 10. And providing the cable is connected to the radio and you've got the power to the main chassis turned on, not the radio turned on, just power running to the, the, the radio you'll be able to click update and it will update for you. And obviously don't turn the power off, don't touch nothing until that's finished. <clears throat> At the end of that, turn the power off to, on the, to the radio, or disconnect the power cable is the best way. Okay, flick this switch back to its proper position, which is at the front here, click it back, put your lid back on, turn it on and do a full factory reset, which you can do just going into the, I'm pretty sure it's uh, hold down DISP, then select number seven, which is clone, and then do a factory reset. So that part of the firmware upgrade is done. You're with the latest firmware. Now we're going to do what they call the DSP firmware. Now I'm going to, I'm going to put links in for both of these firmware upgrades of the exact instruction manual. Read it carefully. Look at every photograph. I'm not responsible for anything going wrong here. I'm just doing a video. So now we're going to do what they call the DSP firmware. This is nice and easy. There's no uh, flicking switches. You just put in the radio into firmware mode. Now I'm going to show you how to put it into firmware mode because uh, that's probably the most important bit. So again, using the SCU20 cable. Now look, there's the front of the radio. Hold down the D and the FMW. Then hold, turn on the radio, uh, obviously with the power on, and it will go into what they call DSP mode. Then run this little program here see this d on the right run that we'll move it out of the way it's the same com port as before um, select com 10 same com and then push the d button when you push the d scroll up you'll have it will say this dsp com then you click ok and then update and it's going to update the dsp and that's it. You don't have to do anything else once that's done. You just turn the transceiver off and on. And hey, presto, you're completely up to date with your Yesu FTM 400. Hope this helps. 7-3, all the best.